My name is Monica. I go by Moni uh, Ordonia. I'm Tulalip Tribes. Um, I do acrylic art uh, painting that is a combination of technical ability, uh, fusing the spirit, and abstract. I got started painting, actually doing art when I was um, in grade school. Uh, my sister Esther inspired me to be creative. Uh, so I've been doing it practically my whole life. I went to uh, college and um, got my degree in commercial art at Seattle Central. And then uh, doing the fusion art real abstract, I started that in 2006. What inspires my art is um, music, uh, feeling with, with uh, being in awe of just seeing nature around me and you know, clouds are one of my primary inspirations is, you know, if I see something, see a beautiful cloud that has some spirits in there, or spirits or fairies, you know, you choose which one. Um, I see them, you know, if I'm driving or if I'm walking or, or just even coming out on my, on my front uh, porch. And I take that in and I'm painting as I'm observing it. And I take that energy in, and, um, and it's, it's almost like filing it away in my mental cabinet or my, my, my heart cabinet. And then what ends up happening is sometimes when I'm painting, you know, like I say, when I'm doing fusion art, I have no preconceived idea of what I'm painting. And, um, and then, you know, as I'm going through the process, sometimes what I saw, you know, a month ago, or, you know, or if I'm outside and I'm painting right there, it'll come out. Uh, I don't have any paintings that are my favorites or that's real special to me. Uh, it's usually the one that I'm working on at the present moment. Because I've learned from my mentor that, that taught me fusion art that not to get attached to a painting because then that's like uh, giving yourself a, a creative roadblock. So he taught me not to hate a painting and he also taught me not to love it. My mentor is a, is um, a man named uh, Fredun Rasuli. They had his artwork displayed at my spiritual center in Los Angeles. And I love the feeling that came through uh, his paintings. Um, they, there was detail in them, but there was such a freedom in them that, that made me want to know more of about how he painted and you know then I found out he was teaching a class at my spiritual center and he's the one who taught me the freedom of uh, just playing and then what I I came to find was the more that I I painted from freedom the more my technical ability actually followed it um, there would be paintings where I uh, uh, person would show up and they would already practically be in 3D and all I had to do was edit it to make it more precise. So you know that's uh, why I love painting that way instead. I did a painting, uh, this, this was when I uh, was doing my um, internship with uh, Rasuli and I was helping him teach a class and um, he had a, a he had an assignment on where you took the light and you introduced it to the darkness and so i i was painting on my canvas and i was just 
merging all these colors together and it ended up being dark. And um, so he came around and looked at my painting and he said, oh, you're doing good. Now you got to introduce the light to it. So I took all these brilliant oranges and pinks and yellows. I started squirting that onto the canvas and playing around and playing around on it. And no more than I think 30 minutes later, this image shows up on the canvas and it's this woman and um, her head is thrown back and she's like just, sh you can feel the freedom of her, like she's in ecstasy. And then the darkness was, it was, it was like a person that had a mask on, like they weren't free, they, you know, they had to stay in their persona. It ended up being practically complete within the hour that I painted it. And it blew me away so much that I had to walk out of the studio and go outside and get some fresh air because it was so amazing. And I ended up naming that painting Revealing Desire. The technique in, in creating my art um, when it comes to doing portraits and realism is actually seeing the object in 3D. So when I'm painting, I'll look at it from a perspective of uh, cools and warms, what brings the image forward and what pushes it back, so I'll know which to use to give you a more 3D effect. Uh, with my fusion art, I don't have a technique technically. Uh, I just allow uh, myself to play and get lost in the process. I just add two, I start with two colors and I squirt it onto my canvas and then um, I take the brush and I just play until I'm satisfied. That way I'm not trying to make something happen, I'm actually allowing it to come through me. And then when I, I tend to uh, rotate the canvas so that I'm seeing it for the first time, uh, like looking at the clouds and, and discovering images that are in the clouds, I do the same thing with my canvas. Yeah, that's when I allow the, the uh, creator, the spirit to come through me rather than me trying to make something happen. I just let it happen. That's how that one came about and that one came about. Um, and then the background on this, that's how I started it, um, which I find uh, more freeing. And um, when I feel more free uh, doing art, the more I get engaged and lost in it. Um, when I do, because I got my degree in commercial art and that was all technical ability, um, I became a slave to my technique. And, um, and I'm also a Virgo, so I, <laughs> as a Virgo, I'm a perfectionist. And if, if it doesn't look exactly how I want it to look, um, then I become uh, locked in it, I become too attached to it. And, um, and then I lose interest. So then some of my paintings, uh, when, especially when it came to technical ability, can stay in my closet for years before I finish it. But when I'm doing the fusion art, I'm just being free with the process and allowing it to happen. And, um, and then that journey of discovery on, on finding what images wants to come through, um, I, I tend to finish the paintings way quicker that way. And if I don't, I still have the freedom to destroy and recreate again. And that's, that's even more uh, entertaining. My advice is to learn freedom first. Um, because that way you keep that childlike wonder alive as opposed to um, learning technical ability and like I said before 
um, learning technical ability um, tends to get you st stuck in being perfect about it. Um, so I, I, I actually teach my students freedom first before I teach technical ability. I like the fusion art, the freedom, better um, because that way uh, I'm, I'm not trying to express something that the world has already seen. I'm actually uh, bringing forth something that hasn't been discovered yet. So, um, and, and for me that's the way uh, most real creativity happens, is not trying to uh, make something that already exists. I'm not a traditional Coast Salish artist, um, but it, it does influence me in, in, the, in terms of uh, being in touch with nature and being in touch with that creative realm. I did that drum with a little bit of Coast Salish, but uh, I, I don't like to be uh, traditional. So I kind of uh, used my fusion art and painted on there and allowed the images to come through and then pulled them out too. So the images that are on the, my drum are what showed up, not what, what I wanted to make happen. The Tulalip Suite has four of my paintings up there um, that they bought for me um, back, in t back when they were opening the uh, resort. So um, that, that makes me uh, proud as a, as a tribal artist and then to also have uh, five of uh, my, my murals down at the gym you know, is, is part of me uh, creating my legacy as an, a Tulalip artist.